clean criterion standard to diagnose biliary atresia. This is the only test that can clearly rule out the condition or confirm. Unfortunately, it is invasive and that may be the only option you have. And that's why we don't do the HEDA scan. The liver biopsy is not able to be done also. You still have to go for this if the suspicion is strong. So cases which have a hypoplastic biliary tree, like allegal syndrome and cystic fibrosis, can be confounding in up to 20% of the cases. So it's important that you rule out these two conditions before you actually take the patient to the OT. And uh, intraoperative cholangiogram is typically performed after biliary obstruction is suggested in a liver biopsy, or if there are other clinical conditions, then direct referral to the surgeon can be done. And of course, you go prepared, you get the consent and you explain to the family that if biliary atresia is confirmed, you would do the Kasai procedure on the table. So there are very few exceptions to this because you don't want to expose the patient to anesthesia again and you don't want to delay further. So if you are doing intraoperative cholangiogram, you go prepared to do the Kasai if you confirm the diagnosis.